My name is Alex Bever. I'm NSP Product Manager and today I show you the benefits of NSP managing a multi-vendor network. So what you can see here on the screen, you have the multi-layer network, you have the optical management and the IP management and on top you have OSS system. Traditionally this is the way you manage the network. But of course what you can see if you have optical and IP managed separately, you need to have manual process to, to create these cross domain links. And creating these cross domain links manually is an error prone process. So instantly you have to do that almost in blind flight because you don't have any visibility on that. So this causes, uh, can cause a lot of issues. So it's estimated that about 10% of the inventory in network management systems is faulty just because of these manual processes. So what is the solution for you? How can you, can you avoid these issues? You can avoid these issues if you have a reliable carrier grade tool which allows you to capture and visualize the whole network. So NSP is the solution for you with the cross-domain optical application which is embedded in the NSP as an optical, as an optional module which will allow you not only to discover the network, but also to, to visualize the complete uh, deployment or architecture, both on the IP and the optical side. And also with the inherent capabilities of this cross-domain application, you will be able to coordinate and optimize your traffic steering. For you as a network provider, what are the benefits for you if you are using that multi-layer coordination? So benefits, depending on the use cases you have, you can have capex savings and these savings you get by use cases for optimizing the protection architecture. We have use cases such as one-to-end floating router port protection and this one is one of the major ones for the capex savings, avoid outages. So how can you make your network more resilient? The resiliency of, of your network you can achieve by applying various uh, use cases, you have the ability to analyze all your parcels in the network going over IP and optics. With this analysis of the parcels, you find out the shared risks and the shared risks, when you find these out, you can avoid these shared risks. The other use case in that area is when you have these shared risks in the optical domain, you can provide these to your IP routing engine and then the IP routing engine takes this into account and you, for example, can create two disjoint LSP paths over the IP and the optical domain. And last but not least, there are more efficient operations. So how can you streamline your operations? Streamlining your operations is very important and you have many use cases. One of them is coordinated maintenance. So if you want to apply an IP uh, or if you want to put an optical fiber into maintenance, then we have the ability to check on the IP traffic very easily and then this avoids that you get hit, get any traffic hits because you can proactively reroute the traffic. So now I'm going to demo this use case in the, in the next. Now I'm on the video on the live NSP system and I can show you that use case. What I will do is I can highlight the various domains so it's easy for you to see. So this is the optical domain highlighted uh, on, the, on the screen. Then there's also possibility to highlight the IP domain. And in between what is not highlighted right now, these are the cross domain links which have already been discovered by the system. Now let's go to the use case. So we click on the optical fiber and then the information of the fiber will appear on the right hand side on the screen as you can see and there are various navigation options to the IP traffic. And we are choosing the IGP links. So now you have a view on all the IGP links which are running over that uh, optical link. And what we can do, we can put these links in, in maintenance. But before we do that, I'll open up the user, the front end, the web application for our IP SDN controller. On this, I have just selected two LSPs just showing you traffic running over these, uh, 
uh, optical links on the IP domain, of course, you cannot see the optical links. But what we will do now, we will put from the cross-domain application, putting the IGP links into maintenance. So now we jump back. You could see that there, this link below has a different color, is highlighted in purple, and this is that shows that the link is now in maintenance. And you could see the rerouting of the LSP. So the IP traffic is automatically rerouted and will not get hit when you put in the actual maintenance action on the, on the optical side. So I showed you on that use case how the uh, cross-domain application can coordinate the traffic be between optic and IP and showed you that you will not have any impact on the IP traffic. Thank you very much for watching the video and I hope you enjoyed it.